Good evening and welcome to Boca Chico, Oklahoma, side of tonight's contest between the Stringtown Tigers and the Rock Creek Mustangs. This is a presentation of the Bryan County Patriot. The spotlight game is a semifinal matchup tonight in the Rock Creek Tournament 2018 edition. Hi, I'm Joey McWilliams. Glad to be along with you tonight as things are underway here. It is the eighth game of the day, day two of the tournament. Stringtown Tigers in the visiting blue and gold. And the Savian, Blunt Colley, quick to the basket. And the first two points of the evening go to the Tigers. Starting lineup for the Stringtown Tigers look like this. DeSavion Blunt Colley, wearing number 40, a sophomore. And number 25, a senior for Stringtown, Nate Winter. Ty O'Banion, a senior, wearing number 15. Number 11 is a senior, Devin McCool. And number 10, a junior, Ruger Layton. Starting lineup for the Stringtown Tigers tonight. Again, wearing the road blue jerseys, gold. Numerals in white, trimmed in gold. Coached by Shane Winter, and with the steal there and a two-point advantage, coming into tonight's contest 7-2 and two on the season. Winter firing the three. That comes up a little bit short, but Mustangs decided to let that one go out of bounds. It didn't. Winter gets the board. Another opportunity now for the Tigers. Springtown, excuse me, Rock Creek starting lineup looking like this. A senior wearing number three tonight, Darian James. A senior number five, Carson Dry up top there. A senior number 20, Aaron Taylor. Another senior, and that's James who gets the steal and takes it on to the basket. Tie contest, Dylan Robinson, number 23, and number 24, a junior, Luke Justice. Upperclassman tonight for Coach Craig Andrus's squad, who is 7-1 this year. Rock Creek, the home team tonight, home team in the tournament, and home team on the scoreboard in your upper left. Robinson with a block from behind. And James hard to the basket once again. Should be a matchup of similar styles tonight. Yes, Nate Winter will be charged with that personal foul, first personal, first team foul. However, they say that James was not in the act of shooting, so they'll inbound. Taylor in the lane, triple team, spins around, up and in. Aaron Taylor with his first two of the night. I want to say thanks to our sponsors tonight. Among those, Heartbeat Realty, Angie Sullivan. Ten-second violation. It's full-court pressure you're going to see from the Mustangs tonight. And... Very likely for 32 full minutes. It doesn't matter who's in the contest. It will be coast-to-coast -coast defense. Double team giving over to Dry. Carson Dry in the lane. Hits the underside of the backboard. Dry had 22 in last night's win over actually the first round tournament game. Mustangs generally will pick up a man full court, but once they get into the half court set, the defense may look a little bit different. Could be a, a man, could be more of a matchup zone right now looking like that man-to-man -man defense. And James there causing the near turnover. Looks like it got... Taylor's foot. And Blunt Colley, Cutter, was alone in the lane, but the pass behind him. Tigers may have been bailed out there with a foul. James picks up the personal. There's that Cutter in the lane again. This time James is going to come through for the steal. Justice with the ball and back to James. Long rebound will take it the other direction. 
Tigers coast to coast, and how about that? Nate Winter with his first two. This one's all knotted up at fours. Thanks also to Dayton Booth Insurance in Durant. Robinson cutting through the lane, was open, had that one blocked, and Taylor on the putback, another opportunity. Mustangs fight hard for it on the inside, but it's Winter who comes away with it. Steal for James, one on three. He'll take it to the rack anyway. Splits defenders and goes in. Darian James with two more. Dry got a piece of that, not enough though. Ruger Layton is able to put that one home. And that's just staying with the ball, knowing where it is. Bounce pass in the lane, stolen by Blunt Calling. We haven't had a chance to see much of a full court pressure defense from the Tigers. They haven't needed it. Three pointer a little bit off the mark from McCool. And Coach Anders will call a timeout. And we will take one, too. Of course, we'll keep it right here. Thanks also to Pears, Sandblasting, and Painting. Let me give a shout out to Doyle Pear tonight. Doyle, wishing you well here in Boke Cheetah tonight. Woodman Life also. Woodman Life is an insurance company with, with a difference, not for profit. Woodman Life has been around since 1890 and offers quality life insurance and retirement products, giving back to local communities and the families who live in them through financial contributions and community service projects. Woodman Life, an organization for standing strong for generations. Check out Brandon Armstrong in Durant with Woodman Life. In the meantime, this one's knotted at sixes with just a couple minutes left here in the first quarter. Coach Andrus talking over with his team. Long range shot from James, a little bit too long, and the long rebound into the hands of Winter, who will push it up again. Cactus Williams. A junior wearing number two coming in for the Mustangs out of the timeout is his number 15, Travis Thompson. And 15 in blue taking the shot. Ty O'Banion for three. 9-3, largest lead of the game for either side. Zone look from the Tigers, and Taylor is able to work down low, backing around Blunt Colley on the inside. Aaron Taylor with his second basket. All the way, the left-handed up and in for Winter. He has a team high four. Winter really forcing the issue for the Tigers on offense. One, three, one look for the Tigers on D as James pulls it out, slows down. Final minute of the first quarter, and Williams thinks better of that shot. There's the look inside to dry off the glass. Mustangs back to within one. Carson tries first two points of the night off, to, off a great pass from James. This is a matchup that 
casual observers of the tournament bracket might thought would have been played on Saturday instead of Friday. Dry gets a hand up. And that shot comes up short. Nice rebound on the inside from McCool. And his putback no good. It's going to wind up being a turnover with 5.7 seconds left as Justice comes back in for Williams. The closing seconds here of the first quarter. James, will he get the shot off? And he does not. Actually traveled right before the horn sounded. First quarter comes to an end, and we have a tight contest here in Boke Cheetah. Rock Creek trailing as the host tonight, trailing by one to the Stringtown Tigers. And this is a spotlight game presented by the Bryan County Patriot, brought to you tonight by Heartbeat Realty. Well, a back-and-forth game here in the Rock Creek Tournament. Again, what we expected, tight contest, just one point separates the two. Nate Winter leading his team with four points, a game high. That number is shared by Darian James and Aaron Taylor for Rock Creek, each with four. Each team with just one foul apiece. And try the cutter in the lane, up and over the defender. And Carson Dry now also with four. And here comes the pressure. You might imagine that full court pressure defense and the tight defense that we would see would draw more fouls, and there's one right there. Nice job by McCool, being cool in the lane, taking it easy, allowing the defenders to come up, and Taylor went up and over. Aaron Taylor with eight blocks last night against Ashley. He picks up his first foul here, though. Second free throw is good for McCool. James will bring it down. Nice motion offense for the Mustangs. Kick out to dry, not afraid to shoot the three. This one doesn't fall. His first three field goals last night against actually were from long range, and that one chased from behind. O'Banion can't find it. Dry will kick it out. Justice now for three. Count it. Luke Justice, his first basket of the night, is a three-pointer. And Rock Creek on top by that three. Steele, there's the full court pressure. James going into the defender. Shot one fall. Dry there for the board. Can't get the putback, though. And Robinson will be fouled by Layton. Layton's first foul of the night. And an unforced error there. Ball just drifts into the hands of McCool. Stringtown will take it the other way. McCool getting around the defender. Looked like it might have been a travel. Taylor with the strong block. And Robinson... Heads up play, knowing where he was on the court. Court awareness there, and he throws it off of O'Banion, so the Mustangs will 
have the ball take it the other direction. Now with a three-point advantage, largest lead of the night by either squad. Taylor having to work out of some issues in the corner. And they're going to get O'Banion for the foul. His first. Well, you mentioned there aren't too many fouls in a contest, and just like that, they start to add up. Dry working around now, back top of the key to Taylor. And James in the corner, looking inside. Robinson blocked, and the Tigers with the defensive stop they've needed now. Looking inside, Blunt Colley has that one blocked. Stringtown fans don't like it. There might have been a little too much contact there. Dry, top of the key, count it. Carson Dry. As seven now, five here in the quarter. And it's a six-point advantage. Mustangs threatening to pull away just a little bit here. Now we have a travel. This time looked like Blunt Colley may have been in the lane for a while, but the traveling violation is going to go against O'Banion. And Coach Shane Winter will call a timeout. And we will take a 30-second timeout as well as you're watching this spotlight game on the Bryan County Patriot, brought to you tonight by Heartbeat Realty. I want to say thanks to Dayton Booth, Farmers Insurance tonight, for being one of the sponsors of tonight's broadcast here. Bryan County Patriots spotlight game. Quick pace game. Final game of the night. You always wonder about something like that. Tip time originally scheduled for 8.20. Got a little bit later start than that tonight. As that one from Jest is well off the mark. And the Tigers coming out of the timeout. Get a little bit of a breather there, or a, excuse me, a break there. Dry, the block from behind off Taylor, and Dry will get it back. As McCool went to the glass, Dry was there. Well, we've seen a lot of good defense tonight from both these squads. As Robinson now making his way to the basket. Right-handed shot from the left won't go. Taylor gets a second and third opportunity. He'll go to the line now to shoot two. And that's just effort on the part of Aaron Taylor. Foul charge to Devin McCool, his first. Fourth team foul now against the Rock, uh, excuse me, Stringtown Tigers. Four Tigers each with a foul apiece, and Taylor's first free throw attempt is short. Cactus Williams now back into the contest for Justice. Second free throw. That off the mark as well. Steal the other direction. Robinson with the ball off the glass and in. Robinson coast to coast. And Dylan Robinson with his first basket of the night. Five players now put points on the board for the Mustangs. And it is 20 to 12. 
Ball tipped around and loose ball to McCool, but that's thrown away the other direction. Around in the corner, passes inside, and that one knocked away. Taylor wanted the foul, not going to get that one. So he'll be content to throw this one in. Williams was open for a fraction in the corner and around a dry. They'll come at him a, a little bit more quickly. Taylor back to dry. I'll tell you, he needs just about maybe three inches worth of open space. Carson dry drains the three again. He has eight here in the second quarter and his team up by 11 now. One collie turnaround jumper, no good. Long mid range shot, two on one look. Taylor keeps and it's in. And now frantic defense will lead to fast-paced offense the other direction. Aaron Taylor with two more now. And the Mustangs have more than doubled up on the Tigers. Back in a moment, we'll keep the video right here on this spotlight game of the Bryan County Patriot. Shout out once again to Doyle Pear. Pear sandblasting and painting. Helping to bring us tonight's broadcast. Justice back, excuse me, that was Winter. And it takes him, take it away by James. And James goes the other direction. Tough to get past that full court pressure. Trying to dribble through it, can't do it. Darian James with two more points. Around the horn, outside the arc. So Banyan. And Banyan, O'Banyan oh will keep it. Double team now, trying to find that open person. Skip pass, leaving Winter open. Long shot, no good. Short rebound, long pass down the court. James trying to find Taylor alone. Can't do it. Stringtown trailing now by 15. And that's answered three of that deficit, taking away O'Banion's three. Count it, he has six tonight. Well, answered on the other end. Three more for Carson Dry. This time winter. Tigers trying to not let this get away quickly. Cactus Williams, long range shot comes up short. Man pressure coming out tightly. The double team looks the pass inside. There's openings, they're just not lasting for very long at all. And that one, Blunt Colley has it stripped away. I don't know if you credit Taylor with the block or more of the steal at that point in time. It's going to stay with the Mustangs. Less than 15 seconds remaining here in the first half. And Justice checks back in for Williams. 
Thompson coming in now as Robinson takes a seat. Dry open, back to Justice for three. That one, home. Luke Justice, another triple. Time running down, quickly the basket, shot no good for Winter, and the first half is in the books, and the Mustangs asserted themselves in a big way, a 22-7 second quarter, and Rock Creek now on top in this one. We'll take a break as we keep the video right here. Back in a moment, this spotlight game on the Bryan County Patriot.
Halftime here at Rock Creek, Boke Cheeto, Oklahoma. Tonight's spotlight game of the Bryan County Patriot presented by Heartbeat Realty, as well as Dayton Booth, Farmers Insurance. Halftime score is 33-17. Gave a point to, to one side that didn't deserve it and took one away as I was closing out the first half. 23-6 the second quarter burst for, for Rock Creek over Stringtown. And halftime numbers look like this. Carson Dry with 13 points, 11 of them coming in the second quarter as he drained three from outside the arc. And he now has 13 to lead all scorers. Six points apiece for Darian James, Aaron Taylor, and Luke Justice. Dylan Robinson has two as well. Rock Creek 0 for 2 from the free throw line. And really not a lot of fouling going on again for either side. Stringtown led in scoring by Nate Winter and Ty O'Banion, each with six points. O'Banion's baskets both came from outside the arc. To Savion Blunt, Cawley with two. Roger Ruger, Leighton, excuse me, with two. Devin McCool with one. And Stringtown one for two from the free throw line. So not much going on there. I mean, it's a fast-paced game, and it's played very cleanly so far, at least through the first half. I'm reading online on Facebook today about the announcer jinx, so maybe that's the announcer jinx right there. We'll see how that winds up. Results from today's contest here in Rock Creek. The girls bracket, the consolation bracket, it was actually over 4,000 and Hayworth over Rock Creek. And so the consolation championship tomorrow will be at noon. Actually, Lady Eagles taking on Hayworth tomorrow. Also in the winner's bracket, Stringtown over Soper and Valiant over Colgate. So third place game tomorrow at three and the girls bracket will be Colgate and Soper. It'll be Valiant taking on Stringtown in the championship. Stringtown boys trying to make it into that championship as well. They have a 16 point deficit to overcome here in the second half, which is now underway. And starting five for the Tigers back out on the court here in the second half. It's Layton, McCool, O'Banion, and Winter, and Blunt Colley. Steele taking the other direction. Justice has it. Right corner. Count it. Luke Justice for three. His third triple of the night. He has nine. Starting five out on the court as well for Rock Creek. Just as we mentioned, Robinson, Taylor, Dry, and James. Blunt calling. And back up top is O'Banion now. Little weave, but just the ball out of the hands of Layton, drifting into the Mustangs' hands. They'll take it the other direction. We talked about both these sides. Some similar styles as Dry from the left wing. Drops another three. Carson Dry. He has 16. His last four made baskets have all been from long range. But don't be fooled. He can play strong on the inside as well. Carson Dry. Honored out front in the foyer here at Rock Creek as being an A-plus athlete as well. Local television station honoring him. Blunt Colley. Stepping in the passing lane and then simply losing control of the ball. Could not put it up and in, had a clean path to the basket. Dry looked like he might be able to get down close on defense, but you thought that was an easy two. A great steal from Blunt Colley. Just couldn't convert on the other end. James, the alley. Oop is not there though. And Taylor hanging on the rim. Could have drawn the ire of the officials. And let that one go. Dry for three. Count it. Carson 
dry. Wearing number five, that's his fifth three-pointer. And coach is going to celebrate with him a little bit at half court. That will force a timeout from the Stringtown side. Carson Dry with 19 points so far tonight. Wow. Boys bracket looks like this. Earlier action today, Colgate defeating Ashley in the consolation bracket. Valiant over 4,000. And so tomorrow at 1.30, it'll be Colgate and Valiant for the consolation championship. Earlier today, Hayford, Hayworth defeated Soper. So Soper awaiting the loser of this contest in the third place game at 4.30 on Saturday. Hayworth awaiting the winner. Championship will be at 7.30 Saturday evening. Thanks to Heartbeat Realty. Among tonight's sponsors, Angie Sullivan, a Rock Creek alum. Now the Rock Creek defense has been there. The offense really has been there as well. I mean, this is a team that is predicated on hard work up and down the court, a pressure defense up and down the court. And you see that tonight. They held the Tigers in check in the second quarter. And through two minutes into this third quarter, Tigers scoreless. Throwing in, and here's full court pressure, and you see five white jerseys on the other end of the court. Ball tips, and it uh, goes out off Rock Creek. We talk about the defense, but don't be fooled. That offense is there as well. 42 points on the board already. All nine points here in the second half coming from the three-point line as Winter drives, splits defenders, goes in among three. Blunt Colley, that one blocked, tipped away by Taylor. He gets the board down the court. Justice scooping in, uses the body to fend off O'Banion. And Luke Justice, that's his first two-point basket of the night. He's into double figures with 11 as Winter dribbles through the full court pressure. Long three attempted and a little bit short for McCool. Justice, the long board goes all the way down, spins around McCool and travels while he's at it. Can't fault the effort, though. And the defense again up tight. It looked like Layton might have gotten past it. That is one of the things about having a full court pressure defense like that. If you can get that long pass down, there may not be anyone back. Winters look inside, pass and go through. He'll get it back, triple teamed. And Justice comes away, slows down for a second for dry and back to Justice. And we'll see a half court set now for the Mustangs. It was 11-10, Stringtown on top at the end of the first quarter. And since that time, it's been a 34-6 run for the Mustangs. Dry looking inside, kicks out Justice for three. That one off the mark. And Dry can't corral the board. Well, pressure defense. <laughs> yeah, I say that. Wait till the team gets down at least to the free throw line before it kicks in. Top of the key. That one short for O'Banion. And Justice slings a bounce pass down into the corner and where the Mustang mascot is in the corner of the gym. Pace slowing down here just a bit in the second half. And now James is going to force the issue just a little bit here. Zone pressure dry. <laughs> Falling out of bounds, knocks that one back in. Taylor to the corner, Cactus Williams to Thompson for three. And that one's short. 
Justice and Robinson getting a little bit of a breather now for the Mustangs. As will be winner. O'Banion from well outside the arc, but it maybe as open a look as he's had tonight. Now steps in off the screen, comes up a little short. Taylor with a strong board. And dribbles himself into a little bit of a bind and then commits the foul. Springtown calls the timeout for a moment. Keep it right here and say thanks to Pears Sandblasting and Painting, as well as Woodman Life of Durant, Brandon Armstrong. Helping to bring us tonight's contest. First semester winding down. And for many of these students, just one week left of class time before breaks start kicking in. Some students and some schools will have a couple of weeks. Also depends on high school and college, too. I have a college daughter coming back from Oklahoma City at the end of this coming week. So have to get ready on all fronts. Thompson forcing the trap, the long pass, and it is errant. Now the defense really has been key tonight, but Rock Creek has done its part on the offensive end as well, not wasting too many opportunities. Thompson outside the arc. Taylor, the head fake, drives off the glass, count it. Aaron Taylor. He has eight points in the night, his first basket of the second half. Winter all the way down, looking down low, finding Layton. That one off the glass, too strong. Blunt Colley with a put back. And that is the first two points of the second half for Stringtown. The drought is over. What the Tigers need, though, is to really put something together here. See if you can close back to within maybe 20 before the fourth quarter starts. Mustangs slow it down on the offensive end, and James loses control of it. Winter will take it down, stops, and James puts that one away. Blunt Colley goes back up strong, and he's fouled. He'll go to the line to shoot, too. And that was some effort by Darian James. But Blunt Colley in the right place at the right time. He'll shoot two now. Again, it's a Mustangs team that just doesn't give up on either end. The Savion Blunt Colley missing on the first opportunity. We'll get a second. That one falls. And he has five. Cactus Williams and Thompson back in for the Mustangs and Williams will inbound this and I say that they'll take a seat as the pair of Justice and Robinson comes back in. Luke Justice with 11 points tonight over to dry looks for Robinson on the inside one dribble turn around off the glass. Taylor there as the ball's tipped around, and he'll go up strong again. Aaron Taylor now, the third Mustang in double figures on the night. Justice with the steal. Count it. Luke Justice saw that one from far away and took it straight to the glass. Taylor will commit the foul backing up. 
falling away on that one, but that is his second foul of the night. And there's the quick trap, tipped away. Dry, will he get back in time? He won't. Nice no look pass off the glass, and River Layton will go to the line for an and one opportunity. The winner didn't have it, kicked it back out. And Ruger Layton now with four points. And it will stay at least temporarily at that number. Tigers two for five from the free throw line tonight. Offense slows down, Taylor through the lane, and that's just length of body there. Dry knows where he is as the cutter, and Taylor with two more points tonight, just using that physical presence. Steal for Robinson, and back the other direction, James loses control of it. Time winding down here in the third quarter. And Coach Andrus wanting the defense to get up there a little bit tighter here as the Tigers may get one more opportunity. It's a 30-point deficit now for Stringtown and time winding down. Tigers need to get a look. Don't think they know what, how much time is left. And no, no shot before the buzzer. And Stringtown has eight minutes left, but a 30-point deficit. Maybe too much to climb out of it. Fourth quarter on the way, spotlight game of the Bryan County Patriot here in the Rock Creek Tournament, and the Mustangs are on top by 30. Spotlight game brought to you tonight by Heartbeat Realty. Office in Clara. And we'll soon be in Durant. Thompson and Williams back in for the Mustangs. And James loses his footing, then loses the ball. Dry James, Williams, Thompson, and Taylor in for the Mustangs. And the... Starting five, it's just been a consistent five for the Tigers tonight. It's Blunt, Colley, Winter, O'Banion, McCool, and Layton. And a foul on the court. It's going to go against Travis Thompson, the senior. That is his second personal. Five team fouls against Rock Creek. The Tigers may have an opportunity or two on the line, but Time not the friend of Stringtown here at this point. Errant shot. Looked like it was tipped a little bit as well. And O'Banion will knock this one out. Stringtown team 7 and 2 coming in. Looks to be a player in Class B. Williams drives baseline and the pass a little soft to Taylor. But the defense back in place quickly for the Mustangs. Winter. Leaves behind the pass for Blunt Collie. Shots a little short. It's Cactus Williams in the corner. 
Taylor driving in off Blunt Colley. And Blunt Colley really not a lot he can do backing away like that. And Taylor takes advantage. Taylor scored now in all four quarters, and he has 14. The other direction, shot missed by Winter, and he comes up a little bit lame. May get a substitution here as Williams has it taken away. McCool will take it the other direction. We will see a sub here for the Tigers. Winter's three is short and dry with the board. Will this count? It will not. They say the foul is on the court. No surprise, though, that it went in. Carson Dry has just been a force of late. So Nate Winter, the senior, will take a seat. Again, looked like he pulled up just a little bit lame. So no reason to have him injured any further in a game in which his team trails by 32 in the fourth. Dry for three, well short. And Blunt Colley with the board. They see some substitutions here for the Mustangs as well in just a moment. And we'll get those to you as they do come in. Taylor with the steal wrapped up. And Rock Creek will keep it. So Robinson and Jess just come back in. And for the first time tonight, we see the sophomore, Braden Anguiano, number four for the Mustangs. Justice kicks out. Williams back top of the key and loses it for a moment. Gets it back. Heads up play. Finding Anguiano in the corner and Anguiano stepping on the line. Well, a valiant effort tonight from the Tigers. But here come the substitutes. We'll get them to you as they come in. We'll keep it right here. Want to say thanks again to Dayton Booth Insurance as well as Pears Sandblasting and Painting. Again, a shout-out to Doyle Pair tonight. Two points through the first nearly four and a half minutes of the fourth quarter. Two points is all either team has to show. Have wholesale substitutions now for Stringtown for sure. And let's get those... Get that line up to you right now. Sophomore wearing number one, Trethan Boyett. A freshman number 33, Tayton Dodd. A freshman number 13, Court Campbell. Freshman number 14, Jacob Thompson. And a sophomore number 20, Joshua Marley. Stringtown lineup on the court right now. Long three taken, no good. Put back, no good. And looking and working strong from the top of the key on in. Jacob Thompson gets his first basket tonight. It's 54-24. Anguiano from the left wing. Shorts and Thompson with the board. Looks ahead. That one blocked. Thompson, the Travis variety for Rock Creek, sends that one out of bounds. Tigers will inbound. More subs coming in this time from the Mustangs bench as Thompson drives in, fouled. Looks like they'll go to the line to shoot two. Foul charge to Dylan Robinson. Robinson's first tonight. Rock Creek. With the win, would move on to take on Hayworth in the championship game tomorrow night. 
Jacob Thompson makes the first free throw attempt. He'll get a second. Checking in for the Mustangs now. Freshman number 11, Zach Holden. You see him coming into the screen. Number 35, a sophomore, Royal Hartley. And freshman number 14, Jaden Schaefer. Second free throw good for Thompson. The freshman has four for the Tigers. I thought the second free throw was good. Not on the scoreboard at the moment. Long pass and high. And too long and too high. Win tonight will move Rock Creek's record to 8-1 and one on the year. Lone loss coming to Wright City is Jacob Thompson now with five. And Mustangs doubled up the Tigers right now. More subs coming in for Stringtown in just a moment. Hartley kicks back out. And Angiano has his pocket picked. Ball's on the court. Marley will come away with it. Looks like he might have taken steps. Thompson goes up. That one's blocked and last touched by the Tigers. Clock will stop and we'll bring in some substitutions here. For Rock Creek, Ron Karanha, as well as Clay Stoner coming in. Meanwhile, for the Stringtown Tigers, number 23, Matthew Costner, a junior. He's in, as well as junior William Maxey, number 12. And the foul, Costner will go to the line to shoot two. Sophomore, number 44, Court Humphrey, also in for the Tigers. First free throw attempt, no good. Zankiano comes back in. Second free throw. A little short and the rebound taken in by Holden. Wraparound pass won't make it over to Ricardo Ojeda, who has also checked in for the Mustangs. Deep bench for Coach Andrus. And some of these younger players getting to see what the Upperclassmen can do, learning from some good players. Solid work ethic. Final minute. Another block. That one at the hands of Karanha. Passes ahead to Anguiano. And that ball knocked away. They'll get it back. One more opportunity. Scoop up and in. And Braden Angiano has his first two tonight. It's 56-27. Passes inside. Dodd, shot no good. Ball tipped around and tie ball. It's going to stay on the Tigers' end. And Rock Creek... With the win, we'll move into the championship game, and that will be tomorrow night at 7.30. Anchiano throws it back in. One more opportunity. Will Holden get a shot off? Looks inside the pass. Shot off the glass. Good. Stoner gets two points at the buzzer. Clay Stoner scores, and the Rock Creek Mustangs win this one 58-27. We wrap things up here from Boke Cheetah. Carson Drive with 19 points a game high tonight. Aaron Taylor had 
14, and Luke Chestis with 13 tonight. Darian James with six. Clay Stoner with two at the buzzer. Dylan Robinson had two as well. For the Stringtown Tigers, Ty O'Banion and Nate Winter each with six apiece. DeSavion, Blunt Collie with five tonight. And four for Ruger Layton, 1.4 McCool. And that wraps up the scoring. Jacob Thompson, by the way, coming off the bench with five points for the Stringtown Tigers. So tomorrow, it's going to look like this. Championship game will be at 7.30. That's Rock Creek and Hayworth. And the third place game will feature Stringtown and Soper on the boys' side. Meanwhile, on the girls' side, it's Valiant and Stringtown in the championship at 6 o'clock. Third place game at 3 with Colgate and Soper. I want to say thanks to my camera person, Jayla McWilliams, tonight for being here with me in Mochita at Rock Creek, the Rock Creek Mustang Tournament, 12th Annual Invitational Basketball Tournament. Thanks to uh, sponsors for tonight's contest, which include Heartbeat Realty, as well as Woodman Life in Durant. I want to say thanks to Pears Sandblasting and Painting and to Dayton Booth Farmers Insurance in Durant as well. And thank you to you for watching tonight's contest, a spotlight game presented by the Bryan County Patriot. I'm Joey McWilliams. Thanks again. God bless you, and have a great night.